Hello guys and welcome in my Photoshop tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I will show you how to create simply manipulation like this with lightning effects. It's of course my final result and it looks uh, nice I think. So hope you guys enjoyed. To create this I use only two images, this field and model. It's my favorite model from DeviantArt called Feastock. Our information are in the description if you are interested. And at first I need to prepare my background. I don't want these straight edges uh, and I want to round it a little to adjust it uh, to this image. So at, at first I make the selection using pen tool then click right and click make selection I set feather radius at 20 pixels and ok now click selection tool click right and click layer via copy now we uh, we copy this part and now as I said before I need to round it a little so click selection tool click right on this layer and select free transform and then click right again and click warp now I warp this layer something like this and okay apply and it, it, it looks a little better I think so now merge these layers and I duplicate it. I duplicate it because now it's time for lightning effects. It's pretty important in this type of manipulation. I make it smaller and now go to filter, render and lightning effects. And now using this round, this scale, I set a beam of light Okay, let's try it Here I have my properties and intensity I set at 35 then hotspot I make it I set it at 40 and then exposure colorize exposure well I want to make it really bright so exposure about even 35 you can add some glows and metallic if you want to add some drama add some metallic but I set metallic about minus 20 and ambience and ambience about 20 but change my hotspot to 30 and gloss I decided to set at zero well it looks uh, okay right now for me so let's see maybe too lighter 
but well don't care you can add uh, less light not so much uh, as I do and now I want to desaturate it a little so go to hue saturation and set saturation about minus 30 and maybe some photo filter and for photo filter I select this I select this uh, it's green and now go to granite map and my first color will be this blue and the second color uh, and the second color will be orange 9c00 and k and now change blend mode to soft light and opacity I set about 60% okay my my background is ready I think maybe I should add some lights so so back to my background copy layer and create new layer and using brush tool change blend mode to overlay and now I can add some lights something like this it looks definitely better I think so now I can uh, add my model make the selection using pen tool as always Okay. Click right and make selection. For this I set feather radius at 3 pixels. Then layer via copy and drag this image and using move tool drag this image to my main project. I made some mistakes, it's not perfect. 
so I should work on it. I clear these uh, edges using eraser tool. So now I need to change her size using free transform. Something like this, it's it's okay. I hope so. Okay, now I duplicate this layer and call it Dutch and Burn. And at first I use Dutch tool. I add some Dutch on her face and hand. Exposure about 40. And now add some burn tool on this side. Okay, and now I think we can add some shadow. So press Ctrl and click on this uh, layer with model. Go to Hue Saturation and set Saturation at minus 100 and the same with Lightness. Using Move tool, drag this down, something like this. and using eraser tool clear these parts then you can change opacity and go to filter blur and gaussian blur and make it blurry
something like this. Also, you can add some shadow by creating a new layer and using regular brush. Change blend mode to soft light. Also, you can change opacity. And make it blurry also. Okay, it looks pretty nice. I think this shadow uh, wasn't necessary. But okay. And at the end, of course, you can add some color correction. Uh, but you don't need to. Maybe I add some curves. And maybe I play with gradient map again. Maybe I should add some brightness and contrast. Minus 20 for brightness and 25 for contrast. It looks definitely better for me. Maybe I add uh, too much filters, but as you can see, it's non-destructive, so it's not a problem. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like this video if you like it and subscribe my channel if you are first time here for more Photoshop tutorials. And if you have any questions, please, please feel free to leave a comment and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.